this problem, we have lactic acid, which is a very weak acid. In order to solve this problem and determine its Ka and pKa, the first thing to do would be to write an equilibrium expression for the ionization of this weak acid. Once we have written this, we will be able to write an equilibrium constant expression and that would be Now in order to solve this question, uh, we need to know the molar concentration of the hydrogen ions. So from this equation we know the mole to mole ratio for the products are 1 to 1. So if you know the hydrogen ion concentration, you also know the, hydro, the lactate ion concentration. Uh, that's very obvious from the equation that is written. And we know we have started with 0 0.1 mole of lactic acid. Being a weak acid, it will not be dissociated 100%. So that's the reason we have to determine Ka. Now, what we have been provided with is the pH of this acid. The value is 2.44. So the first thing to do would be determine the hydrogen ion concentration from the value of pH, substitute it in this equation. And for that, we can actually generate an ice table. That's what we're going to do next. In order to calculate the pH, this is what we are going to do. We know pH is equals to negative log H positive. Our H positive is equals to 10 to the negative pH. That's going to be equal to 10 to the negative 2.44. And this is equal to 0 0.0036 m. Now we have the hydrogen ion concentration. So if you have to fill in the ice table, you are starting with 0 0.1 m, 0, 0. The change in concentration should be a decrease in concentration of lactic acid, an increase in concentration of hydrogen ions which we calculated from the pH is going to be 0 0.0036 m and that's the same for the lactate ion 0 0.0036 m and this will be a decrease therefore minus 0 0.0036 m and if you're writing the equilibrium expression it's going to be 0 0.1 minus 0.0036 m, 0.0036 m, and 0.0036 m. Now we have the values required for substituting in the Ka expression to get the value of the dissociation constant of an acid. Now substituting the values in the Ka expression, Ka is equals to H positive into C two A C three H five O three minus divided by H C three H five O three is the expression. From the ice table that we generated earlier, we can put these numbers point zero zero three six molar into 0 0.0036 divided by 1 minus x which is 0 0.1 m minus 0 0.0036 and this value is going to be equal to 1.36 into 
10 to the negative 4. That's your KA. Once you get your KA, you can calculate your PKA. And so now you have converted the Ka to Pka and you have both values, both Ka and Pka for lactic acid. And this is how you calculate the Ka value if the hydrogen ion concentration or the pH is given for a weak acid like lactic acid, benzoic acid, acetic acid, any of these acids, the pH, the Pka and the Ka can be calculated if you are given the pH of the solution. Please don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. Thank you and have a great day.